25 years ago, Universal and I took a big risk on a film that wasn't simply about dinosaurs. It was a film that embraced the age-old question, could science fiction become science eventuality? Jurassic World was a celebration of something that we all love. This movie is different. This movie is pushing something that we know forward into the future. You have everything that you need in a Jurassic movie, but then it gets more claustrophobic. It has this kind of gothic element, and you start to build up the tension in a very different way. We're picking up the movie a few years after the events of Jurassic World. I know why we're here. A rescue op. Hey, Owen. Save the dinosaurs from the island that's about to explode. What could go wrong? Blue, come with me. You know you can't stay here. Back your men up right now. That's when we realized that these are not good people that we're dealing with. It was all a lie! The first part of this movie is classic Jurassic, and then you go into this far more dangerous world. We arrive at this mansion where they're auctioning off these animals to the highest bidder. What is that thing? They made it. The Indoraptor. They're going to sell them. Not blue. They need it for something else. We get to learn a lot more about Owen and his very special connection with Blue. Easy. I told Steven Spielberg, I think the heart of the story is about Blue. Hey, girl. I say we shut this whole thing down. We hope that people come out with their imaginations expanded of what a Jurassic Park movie can be. These creatures were here before us. And if we're not careful, they're gonna be here after. Welcome to Jurassic World. <laughs>